charity shop, junk or gem, charity shop, junk or gem, charity shop, junk or gem, charity shop. Aquamarina, what are these strange enchantments when you are near? Right, folks, here we go. Haven't done one of these for ages. Junk or gem. Charity shop bargain. Look at that, man. Stingray, the model. It's an awesome thing, man. Look at it. I couldn't believe it when I found it. I was like, oh, look at that stingray. And the thing is, it's even got Troy Tempest in there. Yes, he's in there. Complete. There he is. Look at that. Troy Tempest. So this cost me a quid. I tried to get them down at 50p, but oh, it's like, no, it's only a pound. The only thing that's missing from this are the missiles, which I believe should have been in there, folks. Unfortunately, they have gone missing, but I was quite actually surprised to find Troy Tempest in there. So an awesome, definitely, it's a, it's a gem. That's got to be a gem, man. Unfortunately, the gears have broken that wind up. Uh, I did take it off and have a look, and there's something in there that I really need to fix that makes this little propeller go around. but uh, So it's a bath toy kind of thing. Um, I need to get in there and change the gears or something, but I fear that may be a job a little bit too intricate for me. I'll need to hand that one over to my YouTube friend. Grandad is an old man. Yeah, look, that bit there, that obviously makes the missiles come out. And the periscope is a little bit, it's been bent in play, obviously. So there we go, folks. I'll give you a close up off the Stingray model, a fantastic thing. Look at this, love it. Thanks for watching that video, but I just know I'm going to get inundated with uh, people asking me how I managed to do those high-tech special effects. So realistic. Well, let me just tell you that the first thing I did was I put Stingray on a piece of uh, silver wire so you could hardly see it against the blue background. So that was the first trick, was to make sure there's enough wire so it could actually hang suspended so it looked like it was actually floating in the water and propelled by its uh, propeller there. So that was the first effect. Now the second one was a little bit more technical, had to be organized a little bit As better. For the sea, I used this blanket, which has got this texture off the water. And I used a couple of props here to make it look like the sea bed, as you can see, spiz flower then. And the actual really lifelike sort of turtle thing here that we have. And then this was supposed to be the anemone floating in the breeze. So that was the backdrop, a very technical kind of, as you can see, it's very, very realistic. It looks like the waves uh, flowing around there. So there we go. Thank you. Marina.